A Halifax man has made history donating blood. His weekly trips have added up, putting him into an exclusive club. And as Ross Lord reports, his generosity is a family trait. How are you doing? Harold Sanford enjoys his weekly visit to the blood donor clinic in Halifax. Just an adrenaline thing that you like to do, you know. Uh, you feel proud that you're able to, uh, able to still give blood and, and give blood and you're helping somebody. And Sanford has provided heaps of help, donating whole blood and plasma for a half century. So that's what they, they take, that's, that's a half liter. Culminating in this milestone, achieved by only four other Canadian donors, the 1,000 mark. At age 80, Sanford is actually the oldest Canadian to reach the coveted plateau. Well, this was one of my objectives, yes, was to get to a thousand. It's a charitable vein that runs through generations, starting with his mother. I have a brother who started to give, and he's, he has over a hundred donations, uh, brother Jim. And then I got a brother, Dal, that has a hundred donations, and a sister, Helen, that has a hundred. Then there's this guy, Harold's son, Robert. He's closing in on 600 donations. It's more of a father-son rivalry. <laughs> Sanford is so dedicated, he fought the federal bureaucracy for two years, forcing it to allow Canadians over the age of 71 to keep donating. Annual medical checkups by his doctor and by blood services prove he's still capable. I have no after effects from it, and I've been doing it for your own number of years, so it's not like it's going to be detrimental to your health. If it's, going to, if it's detrimental to your health, it would have been detrimental by now. He can recover quickly because we're putting the red cells back in. Plasma can be used for burn victims, it can be used in shock. And he concedes nothing to his age, other than the occasional nap during donations. Retired after 35 years in the Canadian Forces, he still volunteers in community organizations with plans to go with the flow indefinitely. Well, I'm booked for the next two months. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.